You've heard it everywhere. You need to be consistent with your content. The best way for you to do that is by establishing your content pillars. My name is Ademu Shoyo, and I help online business owners create content that attracts, nurtures, and converts their audience into paying customers. I've said it in pretty much almost every single video of mine that you need to be consistent with your content. And I've also said that the best way you can do that is to provide yourself a bit of a framework to get those brainstorming juices flowing. And that is through your content pillars. By the end of this video, you're gonna learn the exact same content pillar strategy that that I use for my clients. Content pillars are overarching themes in relation to your brand or business. It should cover a little bit about you, a little bit about your business. It should allow you to educate and inspire your audience. It should encourage your audience. And it also should showcase your expertise. Having these content pillars allow you to brainstorm new ideas a lot quicker because you're focusing in on specific topics rather than trying to brainstorm anything and everything everything under the sun. Content Pillars allows you to stand out amongst everyone else within your industry. When you look at people that may be doing the exact same thing as you, their content pillars are probably a lot different from yours. And especially when you add a personal element to your brand, that's really going to be how you stand out and what's really gonna make you new unique. So everyone could be covering the exact same ideas, but not everyone is going to cover them exactly like you. It's also a good way for you to evaluate how your content is doing. So when you are looking at how your content performed over a span of a month, having those content pillars will allow you to identify, okay, people like talk me talking about this more, people like me talking about that more, which will really allow you to better tweak and perfect your content strategy. So, breaking down the real question, how many content pillars do you need? Well, the answer is, it really depends. If you're just starting out with creating content, I definitely recommend you start with three content pillars. And if you are more advanced in your content creation process, then I definitely recommend you lean towards having five content pillars. The reason why I say that is because you want to be able to talk about each of those content pillars at least three to four times on a given platform for a month. You don't wanna just talk about one of your content pillars and then that's it for the rest of the week. You wanna keep reinforcing those ideas on social media as to what your brand is, what it is about, and what you are offering your customers. I will use myself as an example. So I have five content pillars that I talk about on social media, productivity, personal branding, content strategy, tech, and a little bit about myself and being an entrepreneur. And I do this because one, I am a content marketing strategist. So a big part of what I am offering my clients is content marketing and like personal branding solutions and strategies. I am super passionate about productivity and I feel that productivity is really key into how you build your brand and start creating content. And I also want people to know a little bit about the person behind the brand and get to know me a little bit better so they feel that they can trust and really build community amongst my uh, little corner of the internet. So that's how I strategically use those content pillars. And I'm curious if you would let me know in the comments below which of these content pillars really resonated with you the most? And which of these content pillars are you going to try and implement? I know I said three to five, and I definitely wanna put a heavy emphasis on having no more than five content pillars because you're gonna get confused and your audience is gonna get confused as to what it is that you're actually about. If you do feel like you have a lot more to talk about, try to combine some of your content pillars and use subtopics so that you are kind of reinforcing that you are really focused on this overarching theme, but what you're focusing on is a little bit different that makes you stand out amongst the rest. If you're ready to have your content match your brand and your business goals, it's time to make sure that you have the right foundation in place. My content assessment is going to allow you to self audit exactly what's going on with your in your content strategy and give you the necessary tools and resources for you to get started building up your content and getting you to that next level. 
click the link in my description box and take it today. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to click this video right here. I think you might find that one interesting. I will talk to you all next week. Bye.